gentlemen, he the aces. <laughs> Once again, Anison presents Easy Aces, radio's distinctive laugh novelty. If you're a frequent sufferer from the pains of headaches, neuritis, or neuralgia, try Anison. You'll be amazed at what it does. Many people who have taken it will tell you, I'm quite sure, that its effectiveness and relief are simply astounding. And the reason is that Anison is like a prescription you get from your doctor. That is, it's a combination of medically proven and highly regarded active ingredients and often brings incredibly fast relief. And you know that when your doctor gives you a prescription, it almost invariably contains not just one ingredient, but several. That's why there's scarcely a person listening to me now who at some time or other hasn't had an envelope containing three or four Anison tablets given him, either by his dentist or physician. They know it gives tremendously, amazingly fast relief from the pain of a bad headache, neuralgia, rheumatism, or neuritis. So if you want really fast relief, try Anison. It's spelled A-N-A-C-I-N, and you can get it at any drugstore. It's unconditionally guaranteed to give you the fast relief you want, or your money will be refunded in full. Well, with this broadcast, the Aces begin their eighth year on the air. And as an anniversary celebration for the next four weeks, they'll turn time back eight years and answer the often asked question, how did Mr. Race ever come to marry Jane? How did they meet? Where? When? How did their romance develop? And how did Marge, Jane's lifelong friend, fit into the picture? Well, to make a long story amusing, here we go turning the calendar back to a summer's night in August eight years ago in a little Midwestern town and turning the clock back to about nine, when we find two young ladies walking home from a picture theater. Arm in arm, they stroll along gaily, laughingly. Oh, Dad, you tickled me. All right. (laughs) Well, it's behind me how you can laugh at that. Mm, Yes, two old friends. Jane, whom we now know as Jane Ace, and her lifelong friend, Marge. Two attractive young ladies enjoying the carefree existence that comes with being 17 and 18, respectively. And as they stroll along the main street in the general direction of their homes, we overhear this discussion, which, though trivial at the moment, was to lead to important turns in their lives. Listen. But I don't want any ice cream, Jane. Let's go home. Oh, I want to stop and get a Sunday. Come on, I'll buy. Don't be such a tight rope. Oh, Jane, it's not that... I'm just tired of dropping in at the same drugstore every night and talking to the same people and seeing the same... Oh, we don't have to talk to him. Maybe Johnny will be there and he can sit with us Maybe while... Johnny will be there. There's no maybe about that. If your brother isn't there tonight, it'll be the first time I ever knew about it. Oh, Marge, I want to oh, go. All right, Jane. Come on. Let's go and get it over with. Oh, I knew you would. Why do you always act so obsolete at first? And that was the decision that was to prove vital in Jane's life. For if she and Marge had gone straight home, they never would have met a young man who was traveling through town on business. A young man whom we find now standing in front of that drugstore talking to a lad of about 19. If we're not mistaken, the lad is Jane's brother, Johnny. Listen. Ever been through our town before, stranger? Oh, yes, several times. You don't mind my walking up and talking to you this way. I always like to meet new people. Funny I never ran into you before. Well, my luck couldn't hold out forever, you know. What's that? I say I stick pretty close to my hotel when I'm out on the road this way. I have a lot of reports to fill out for the company I work for, but it got a little warm around the hotel this evening, and I thought I'd... So you uh... thought you'd get the air and give our small but thriving metropolis the once over. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a nice little burg, isn't it, Mr... What was the name again? Uh, Ace. Ace? Yes, A-C-E, Ace. Well, the deuce, you say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Well, I'll be strolling along, I guess. Oh, I'm... there's not much doing anywhere else but around this corner, Mr. Ace. All the nightlife of this town is around this drugstore. Meet everybody worth knowing right here. It's been my hangout for a couple of years now. Sort of a night office, I call... Oh, by the way, excuse me. I don't think I introduced myself. My name's John Sherwood. 
My dad's the town's leading doctor. I'm glad to I got know the you. ailments. I'll be glad to get you a cut rate. <laughs> get it? Yes, I'm afraid <laughs> I How's your appendix? Oh, uh, just fine. How are you? Why well, bring that up? <laughs> How's the old tonsil? I don't think there's anything wrong with me. Adenoids, I... eyes, ears, nose, throat, or stomach. Uh, sounds like an organ recital. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot one. Organ. Oh, say, here come two of our town's most charming representatives. No, 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 over there. Those two girls coming towards us. Yes, but I don't think I'd be interested. Uh, that's in my sister and her girlfriend. Oh, your si- uh, the tall one seems very nice. Is that your sister? No, the little girl's my sister. Her name's Jane. The other one's her best friend, Marge. Uh, they're always together. I'll have you meet them. They always drop in here on the way home. Well, from... I don't know. I don't think I'm presentable this evening. Oh, why bring that up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Johnny, of all people, imagine finding you here in front of this drugstore. All right now, Marge, cut out the kidding. I'll... We're going in to have a Sunday, Johnny. Fine, let's all go. Oh, I want you to meet my friend. This is Miss Hale, Mr. Ace. Hello. How do you do, Miss Hale? And my sister, Miss Sherwood, Mr. Ace. How do you do? Oh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, thanks. What was that? I said I'm pleased to meet your acquaintance. Yes, I thought you said that. Uh, <laughs> you haven't heard anything yet. Well, how about this Sunday? I want to get home early for a change. Sure, come on, we'll all have one. Well, I don't know Oh, if sure I... you do. There's nothing else to do. Mr. Ace makes our town quite often, he says, but I never saw him before. Did you, Marge? No, I can't say that I have, but then I don't make a business. It was to... my loss, I assure you, Miss Hale. <laughs> Really? I don't believe I ever saw you before either, Mr. Ace. No? Now I guess that was your loss, too. Mm. <laughs> mm, I like that laugh. Well, laugh's the only thing I have plenty of, mister. Well, la- laugh like that is enough. <laughs> why? I guess we all have plenty of laughs around here, Mr. A. Mm. Oh, why bring that up? <laughs> oh, Johnny, you're always saying that. You'll have to excuse him, Mr. Ace, but ever since he started playing those records of the two scarecrows, he's always saying things like that. The two scarecrows? <laughs> black crows, Jack. Oh, yes, black crows. <laughs> uh, and what was that other one, Johnny? The hurry bird catches the worm? Is that it? Oh, oh come on. Let's have this Sunday. <laughs> well, personally, I'm not much of a Sunday man myself. Oh, but you never tasted Sundays like they make here, has he, Marge? Well, I wouldn't know. Well, he hasn't. They make the best Sunday Yes, here. I guess we can say without fear of contradiction that this town has about the best Sundays you can get anywhere. Oh, yes. Well, I don't believe your friend seems very impressed, John. Oh, I am. If you say they are, they are, I guess. I'll tell you what. I'll go if you let me buy. Oh, we couldn't let you do oh, that. Oh, come on, Miss Sherwood. Oh, don't be so formular. All our friends call us Jane and Marge. Oh, really? Uh, my friends call me Mr. A's. They do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. We've talked about this Sunday so long, I want one now. Come on, Marge. Come on. And so it was around a table of ice cream Sundays that Jane and Mr. Ace first met. We find our foursome digging into their respective dishes as we pick up the conversation again. Listen. Oh, what was that picture you saw tonight, Miss Hale? Oh, it was Harold Lloyd in Welcome Danger. Yes, that was it. Now, how was it? Well, it I don't it. like comedy mm-hmm. so much. We saw a good one last night. It was Al Jolson in The Singing Fool. Oh, yes, I saw that last week. Wasn't it teen? Oh, I just cried. Did you like it? Cri- oh, I'll say the no, word. No, I, I, I was asking Marge if she Oh, liked. I thought it was all right. He certainly can sing, can't he? Oh, I should say he can. Every town I've made this trip, all I hear is Sonny Boy. You uh, make a lot of towns, do you? Well, yes, but this is as far west as I get. Oh, uh, how long are you going to be here this trip? Well, I had thought of leaving this weekend to get my business attended to, but, uh, well, I could be persuaded to stay over. Well, we'd like to have you stay over, Mr. Ace. Uh, all of you? Well, all of me. All of you? <laughs> Jane offers you the keys to the city, Mr. Ace. Uh, yes, I managed to figure that one out, but how about And you? where could you get Sundays like this, Mr. Ace? Oh, aren't they keen? They make the best Sundays here. I think about them all day. Oh, not all day, do you? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, you, do. you see, there's not much else to do here. Yes, this is a kind of a quiet little town. Uh, we're it? taking up this new game, bridge. Uh, play any bridge, Mr. Ace? Well, I think you can find arguments on both sides. I think I do. Oh, fine. How about a game some evening? Well, I might. Do uh, all of you play? Oh, we've just taken it up this summer. We're dubs at it. Oh, I don't know, Marge. I think I play pretty good. Yes, I'll bet you do. Oh, we don't bet. 
Just matches and toothpicks and things like that. Oh, I see. Oh, I've lost more matches since we started playing. <laughs> you better be careful. The Forest Preservation Society will be getting after you. Big pardon? <laughs> She's kind of cute, isn't she? Oh, why bring that up? Now, now about this game of bridge tomorrow night? I'll be glad to have you come over to our house and play, Mr. A. Well, I don't know if I'll... Uh, uh, how about you, Marge? I think I can make it. Well, thanks. I'll be looking forward to it then. And I'll be looking forward to you too, Mr. Ace. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. thanks, Miss... Uh, I mean, uh, Jane. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall I pick you up at the hotel and bring you over? Oh, no, you don't have to bother. I think I can find it if you'll give me the address. I might stop by and pick you up, Marge, if Oh, you... no, I'll be able to make it all right, thank you. I'm over at Jane's most every Maybe evening. you'd like to come to dinner. I mean, we ought to show you our hostility. What did she say? <laughs> I believe she's asking you for dinner tomorrow night. Yes. Yeah, well, she has a sort of a roundabout way of getting to it, hasn't she? <laughs> well, uh, no, Jane, I don't think I can make dinner, thank you. I have my reports to fill out, a lot of business to attend to. Oh, uh, business that good? Oh, I should say it is. More than I can handle between selling my furniture and filling Oh, out. is that the line you handle, furniture? Yes, I sell for the Acme Company back east. Oh, yes. Yes, but uh, the way the stock market has been going these past few months, selling furniture has become a sort of a sideline almost. Oh, yes, the stock market. Uh, I can give you a tip if you'd care for it. What? Uh, buy telephone. That's what I'm buying. Every dollar I can lay aside. Buy it now, too. It's only 289 and 5 eighths today, and it's going over 300 before long. Is that so? Oh, yes. The market's going sky high. I hope by the end of this year to make enough to retire, if I'm lucky. You ought to get in now. Well, you see, I'm not in a position at the moment to invest in anything. I've been trying to tell the folks, though, but my dad is so conservative. Maybe if you talk to him, he might let me do some manipulating. I've been telling him Oh, that... I don't like to mix in other people's business. Yeah, but you'll does... be doing us a favor. After all, what's it going to get him being a doctor in this town the rest of his life? That's the way I look at it. I keep telling him that now's our time to get big money, but he won't listen to me. Now, if you came along... Well, and... I'll tell him what I've been doing, if that'll help you any. Yes, that's it. Maybe that'll help him see what I mean. Well, I don't see how he can lose. I think that 1929 is going down in history as the biggest boom year this country ever had. You bet. That's what I've been telling him. Now, when you come over tomorrow night, you Well, can... before this gets too businesslike, we'd better be getting home, Jane. Mother'd be worrying about her only daughter if I'm not home in ten minutes, and it's almost ten o'clock. Oh, I'm probably going your way, Miss Hale. I'll be glad Oh, to... sure. Come on. We all walk that way. Oh, we do. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, uh, where's the check? Oh, oh no, there. no, no. Now this is on me. Okay, if you insist. Wasn't that the most marvelous Sunday you ever tasted, Mr. A? Oh, it was all right. All right? Why, well, I think it's the best you ever okay, had. Okay, well. sis, why bring that up? Well, he said it was just all right. I say it's oh, the I best. I think Mr. A gives in, Jack. Yes, I give in. It was great. Oh, well, Pete knows how to make Sundays better than anybody. Yes, he probably went to a Sunday school. Oh, Mr. A, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I just got that. I went to a Sunday school. Mm. Isn't that clever? Oh, you just have to come over for dinner, Mr. Ace. Oh, Sunday school. I must remember that one. <laughs> well, Mr. Ace seems to be making a big hit with Jane on their first meeting. But Jane doesn't seem to impress Mr. Ace. Marge seems to have caught his fancy. However, first impressions aren't always lasting impressions, as we learn when next we meet the Easy Aces. Easy Aces are brought to you by the makers of Anison, the remarkable remedy that brings fast relief from the pains of a headache, neuritis, or neuralgia. Probably your own physician or dentist has at some time or another given you an envelope containing several Anison tablets. If so, you know how remarkably quick and effective they are. If not, the next time you suffer pain from a headache, try Anison and see for yourself how quickly it brings relief. And if it doesn't, we will refund the purchase price. Anison is spelled A-N-A-C-I-N. Ask for it at any drugstore. 